Hi everyone and welcome back. So we will talk about two more JavaScript basic problems. Uh, I faced these problems earlier and these are like uh, basics and kind of same whatever we have done. You can see the staff list. It is a kind of same uh, that we have to write these methods, add, remove, get size and there are some validation criteria here and we have to write a class that will manage a collection of staff members. Okay, I think this looks similar, add and then get size and then remove. These are some, just some checks that get size should return the, the number of items in the collection. Remove should return true false. Based on that if member is found then you remove it and return true. Basic things, okay, uh, very basic. So we'll just try the logic for it, staff list. So this is the code you will get and you have to write code for your staff list class. Okay, so what we are doing inside here this is we will add a code for our staff list class. Staff list class is similar. Here we are going to have a collection. So uh, inside staff list we are going to have let's add the code here. We are going to have a staff list which is initialized with empty array and now we have these same methods add remove okay and then there is a one another method get size get size is nothing but it is going to return this dot staff list dot length that's it remove will take name and first we need to check if this name is available in our staff list or not right so this dot staff list dot find we can use the find method to check if any of the property any of the object inside this array of staff list contains the name which is equal to this name if it is found right found means if it is true then we have to remove that element and how we can remove this dot staff list dot filter we can do and we will just remove that property which is matching which is not matching with this name it will remove that and we have to return something we can return true because we are able to delete this otherwise if the name is not found return false okay now addition I mean we are just adding based on the name and age if you just see the explanation here we are adding name and age and there are validation greater than 20 then only do this if it is less than 20 then throw this message so we will just add this in the condition so we are getting name and age if we can just convert it into a number if age is greater than 20 then we are good what we can do is this dot staff list dot push we are actually pushing one object name and age otherwise what we will do is we are going to throw an error so how we do it throw new error and inside error just put the message that's it this is the solution nothing more nothing less staff list okay now coming to this is the staff list now coming to another problem strip property okay in this challenge uh, the task is to implement a function strip property that takes two argument object and a property returns a new object literal with the same properties and their values as object excluding the property named prop if it exists okay very basic example what we need to do is a function which takes object and a property now you need to check if this property exists in the object then remove it and return the rest of it uh, this is what it is doing so we need to write a simple method and here we are going to write strip property I mean I have already written the logic because it is very basic what we what what the logic here is I will explain that first 
before talking about this so there is a constant object okay let's say random object here we have a60 and b70 what if you wanted to remove the property a what all other methods are there this is one object dot a right but i don't advise i don't use it what are the other ways to do it is you can use spread operator so this is your object what you can do if you wanted to remove the property a that means a is removed and now rest is containing only the properties like b and c okay now if it is a function then you will do it in the same way it's not something different here we are doing okay object and property so what we will do is we have to remove this property and it is also going to create a new property so it's better do it like this property and the value of this property we are not going to use and give me the rest of rest of it after removing this property so same thing i mean here we do have we we already we don't have the a property here we already have the property coming inside a function so we cannot use directly we'll get an error property already exists so what we need to do we need to use it as a value this is the property and the, the value of this property is assigned to this and rest give all the rest of the property or you can just check this particular property inside an object and delete it using delete keyword or iterate to this object one by one assign this object to the new object so you can know like object dot keys what you can do is object dot entries object dot keys you will get all the keys right and then uh, let me just do this object dot keys is object dot keys this is the object i have and i can run a loop now const key of keys this is an array so i have to create another object so what i will do is const obj2 it's an empty object so i will just check if key is equal equal to the prop which you are passing I mean we need to do a negation if this is not equal to that then obj1 of key so the same key we need to assign in obj2 obj of key so it's doing nothing but it is creating the another object with same set of keys right and we are just skipping one particular key which is equal to the prop so this new object is going to have this is the output we have okay uh, thanks everyone so these are the two questions we had these are also a part of the basic javascript certification